Back in our first days at Bell Gloss, every single fermentation lot and every single barrel was an experiment. We learned a lot through those days. I feel like I ruined a lot of wine. Um, racked up a pretty darn good debt uh, to the point where um, you know the, our, our accountant looked at it and said, I, I don't think you're gonna get out of this hole. Well, then sideways hit and the world changed for Pinot Noir. You know, it was a great learning experience. We got to experiment a lot and that's really where our, our style today came from. Uh, of course, we tried to take the Burgundian approach. It just didn't work. It wasn't the style of wine that I thought best reflected the California coast. Um, and much like up here in Oregon now, we're taking that same philosophy. We did a lot of experimentation back in 2011, 2012. Learned a lot about each of these individual areas um, throughout Willamette Valley, Umpqua Valley, Rogue Valley, and how they all need to be catered to differently from both a, a management and the vineyard standpoint and also a fermentation standpoint. I feel like we're letting the fruit tell us what it wants to be. We're just taking cues during fermentation uh, to make sure we coax out those characters. We started with Bell Gloss in 2001, had one vineyard designate. By 2002, the writing was on the wall. It was about vineyard expression and it became vineyard designation focused. But I also saw that there was a missing link to getting people in America to enjoy California Pinot Noir, table side and enjoying it with great food. And at the price points we were at with Bell Gloss, it wasn't an everyday go-to. So the concept of Mayomi came up, and that was multiple sites throughout coastal regions. And so we ran with that, and the pricing was such that we could kind of work it into a, a very uh, uh, low price point, very accessible, um, especially for by the glass. And that's where we focused our efforts with Mayomi. Um, it really assisted in, in getting American consumers excited about Pinot Noir, but also garnered a lot of attention for Bell Gloss in general, and that became kind of the upsell in a way. If you want to look at it as a halo brand effect, um, but also having the support of something that had a, a broader um, base and a broader ability to grow, uh, that's where, where I think the strength of this kind of this unique um, halo and, and lower tier uh, effect came from.